Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for <laughs> Johnny Depp and his Empress. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, let's have a look and see what's going on between these two. We're going to do things a little differently with the Twin Flame Soulmate Tarot reading for Johnny Depp and his partner his true love his empress look at these beautiful cards coming out he's at the nine of cups looking for that tenth cup he's looking for that passionate new beginning that beautiful love okay so you might be doing some reflecting on things possibly from the past about maybe behaviors or some kind of illusion maybe some internal conflict that maybe he's had maybe getting some help with that we have a lot of desire for maybe a capricorn here could just be that it's a lot of desire or very tempting sexually let's see here what else for these two? Oh, somebody does not want somebody to walk away and this is in the heart of the reading okay yeah maybe watching this person let's see okay oh temperance in reverse this is sagittarius energy something unable to adapt to here so what is the temperance this is some kind of impatience or all or nothing, maybe a little bit of conflict, maybe recklessness, maybe going to some form of extreme. And we have the two of pentacles in reverse, okay. So maybe overcommitted with something that... I'm feeling like getting a little too much of something here. What is this? Page of... Once. Oh, no wonder I can't read these cards. I need to put on my reading glasses here. <laughs> my eyes seem to be going on me. Um, page of Wands. Um, I'm kind of feeling with that. That's kind of mm, impatience again. Maybe some emotional trauma that's happened here. Page of Wands. This is somebody that's positive though. This is in the upright. So it's acts on chance. Maybe inspired by something here. Maybe a new opportunity or some fresh idea. I feel like tired of waiting. Doesn't want to wait any longer. Possibly this could be his person doesn't want to wait any longer. Let's have a look at the love frequency energy that we have going on for Jenny. All right, we have let your friends help you. So perhaps there's somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody or <laughs> maybe somebody that can get in touch with this person or find a way in order for you two to come together. Ah, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So there is a little bit of caution here. I mean, rightfully so. He's been through a lot throughout his life. Ah, there's a lot of playfulness here. Re oh, to recapture a romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to of fun to shine. Now, this may be somebody that is from the past. This could be somebody that he feels like he's known a lifetime. This could be a past life relationship that's been been done before in another life. Let's see. How about his person? This empress. Wow, she definitely sees him as her true love. This is true love happening going on here. Now, just because this playfulness says to recapture romance, it doesn't mean with somebody from the past necessarily. This could be a new person. It's just that recapturing that, getting back into romance, maybe he's 
kind of put love on the back burner uh, for a while and it's about getting back into having that love in his life or love recapturing that romance of love you know so let's see for empress oh so okay it is a reconciliation with somebody here who is this that he wants to reconcile with is this from a past life? Oh no, this is somebody that he may have separated from. Wanting to reconcile here. There was some sort of separation. What's the combined energy here between them? Ooh, to make the effort. Okay. So this is definitely a true love connection. A reconciliation. There's a lot of playfulness here, but definitely feeling kind of weary about this whole situation. Let's have a look at the Nine of Cups. What is with the Nine of Cups? Okay, Two of Swords in Reverse, and this is the After Tarot. This may be some truth that was revealed, and it's made it easy to make a decision here. So definitely easier to make that decision of who he wants to go towards. Okay, so wanting to make the right judgment call here. This may be a good judgment and could be a calling, a purpose, or even a transformation with the Pluto energy here. What's the moon? Woo! Okay, Moon is Pisces. This is all about compassion. Somebody wants to come forward. Okay, and maybe the Moon energy here. This is right on target. Um, aiming, coming in, seeing the one that is in his sights. So, the Moon. This could be something reflecting or surfacing could be some type of illusion could be just inner dialect on how how this person talks to themselves whether it's his person or the empress or if it's johnny and it and it might just be that internal conflict about maybe fear or some insecurities here but i feel like whoever the moon energy is here somebody is ready to take action move forward has someone in his sights I kind of feel like this may be his person this could be him let's see cuz I feel like somebody's looking for the tenth cup they've made a decision here they want to make a good judgment in a beautiful passionate beginning and somebody has their sights set on something they're able to move forward because I feel like they may have overcome this inner dialect or this inner conflict that seems to surface here with the moon let's look at what this desire is is it desire or is this a temptation let's see what is this desire or temptation ooh okay so the tower is I usually only read these in upright, but I've been reading them in the reverse as well lately, so we'll just go with it being in the reverse. And this is about maybe some denial, maybe refusing to learn a lesson, maybe a divorce, could be just fears of the unknown or the truth. The tower and could be a Capricorn that doesn't want to learn this lesson. I'm kind of getting other temptations maybe have delayed something here, set somebody in denial about perhaps some type of behavior. Let's see, what is this eight? of cups in reverse that somebody doesn't want to walk away <sighs> refusing to learn a lesson here not wanting to walk away from something or someone now this could be his person his empress 
who, if I remember correctly in some of the other readings, there was somebody in their Empress's energy. She's kind of, I feel like, fighting with herself about this. Because it's in the heart of the reading, and I feel like it's trying to make a decision, trying to make better judgment calls about people and their energy, and maybe even trusting intuition here, their own intuition, self, getting self. It's just maybe even self-loathing or low self-worth could be just that fear of change. Yeah, having that will, but that wall up, a <laughs> will, um, maybe somebody's name is Will, um, but somebody's watching her, but she still has her, her walls up, and I feel like whoever's watching, if this is Johnny that's watching, he wants to help bring down those walls that this person has put up. What about the tower and the devil here? The tower and the devil. There might be some type of temptation that somebody is just not, is in kind of an, in denial about what lesson they're meant to learn here, or they're just not seeing the lesson. The star card. This is public recognition. This is healing. So somebody may not want to heal here. Somebody's not healing something. And this could be that this person is just not familiar with this type of lifestyle. This could be a real big difference to this person's life because of the recognition that comes with it. It may feel tempting, but almost, I, I'm kind of feeling Because this is how they deal with life, and this might be a lot of fear here about being in the spotlight. What is this watching here with the um, page of swords here? I mean, this could this could be talking to somebody or communicate with them, messaging messaging them, finding out useful information here. Yeah, wanting to break down those walls. That feeling of paralyzing fear, that insecurity or feeling of the unknown and the anxiety that may come with it. Temperance in reverse here. And that was, I was kind of feeling with that, that that was some impatience here more than anything. Yeah, wanting to win at all costs here, but could end up being a empty victory. What's the unable to adapt here? Mm. Having a hard time ending something here, and I feel like this is his person, this empress, really wanting to end out a cycle here, and this person might be really um, making it hard to do so. Having an empty victory, or having this person that they're with, this empress's person she's with right now that she's meant to leave for Johnny to be able to come in. Let's see, what is this page of wands here? This is acting on chance. This is inspiration, new opportunities, enthusiasm. And it looks like communication of some sort, looking at the birds coming in. Let's see. Yeah, looking at it in the, oh, okay. There is the devil card once again, that temptation or burning desire, and it doesn't necessarily, well, it could mean toxic too that this person is in right now, um, feeling like whatever they're in is toxic, but being in a better position here, this might change for this empress. Let's look at what intention Johnny has for his empress. What is Johnny's intentions towards this empress? 
Oh, uh, surprise! <laughs> All of a sudden, <laughs> ah, healing the inner child growth. He's definitely going to do the work and may even feel surprised at how great he feels afterwards. Maybe knowing that it's just going to be beneficial to get it done. Look at that! The engagement ring! Wanting to partner up once he completes this. He's looking at a union now. Um, wow, his true love. Look at the abundance that he's going to feel when he gets into this relationship with her. Now, keeping that ma uh, manifestations and that positive mindset, getting what he wants, that gratitude and bliss. Let's see for his person. Oh, being lighthearted, finding things out, things coming to light. I feel like this is about this ending that this Empress has to do in order for Johnny to come in. So finding out something about some toxic information, now feeling like they're, she's in the position of power or um, that she's able to walk away, I feel, this person... Yes, look at that. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. And this could be Johnny. This could be this other person trying to come back in and suck up. <laughs> ah, this could be a twin flame union with Johnny here, the chaser. So maybe fear of abandon. This person needs to heal as well. This, um, let's see. Yeah, separates from that person that's toxic in her life. Look at that. Welcoming love, meeting the one, opening her heart, and getting together. Perfect. So that's beautiful. I, I would have liked to see some healing here. What's going on with the healing? Any healing going to happen here? Ah, new phase, rekindle, renew, growth. I like it. So she's changed her mind about this person and has made some growth here. But in the meantime, she may get a love call. Well, that love call could be from this other person too. And then they separate. And she's open to a new love coming in. She's looking to meeting the one. And she's having growth here while she's, while he's doing his healing as well. It's like, if these two are really twin flames and he may be chasing her now, um, I kind of feel like not all twin flames come together and there is a separation here in order for her to find her one, which is Johnny. So <laughs> she gets into a new phase. There's a transformation here, a growth, and she's totally changed her mind about this person that wants to maybe reconcile with her. That I'm kind of getting this whole thing now where it's, she's, I'm feeling her energy and, and Johnny's. I feel like he's looking for his 10th cup. She may be as well, because they're mirroring each other, and they may have made a decision. He may know who he wants to approach, and she may be looking for a passionate new beginning, wanting to make good judgment calls. Uh, he may be wanting to come in. He has his sight set on someone already in particular, and she may be facing something that she may not want to see. <laughs> That illusion is, uh, and that inner conflict that she's having, this insecurities are realizing her worth. And I feel like this is going to be such a shock with this coming up, but I kind of feel like she may be tired of learning the same lesson here and realizing that it's toxic. And then healing here with the star. So she could be very well healing from this situation. This may be where the growth is coming from. But I feel like this Im is going to impact her quite greatly because of the different uh, lifestyle change that's coming. Now, 
she may have her walls up and feel like a wounded warrior, and I feel like he, Johnny is the one watching. She may not, or this per, okay, that's what this is. Her person she's trying to leave doesn't want her to go with the Eight of Cups in reverse. So he may be watching her, trying to make her feel insecure or have anxiety. Or this could be Johnny watching and she is going through some type of anxiety or it's possible that her person that she's wanting to leave is going through some sort of anxiety. Whoever this anxiety belongs to feels like they didn't get the girl. So I'm kind of a feeling like it's the one she's leaving. And this temperance in reverse, I kind of feel with this, this conflict here. But there's some type of impatience as well. <laughs> and I'm kind of picking up on two people um, with Johnny being wanting, he's feeling like he's been patient enough. And yet, I feel like there's impatience about trying to win at all costs here for this person that is with his empress. There is an ending here, a finality here, and it may be hard for his empress to adapt to. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling like she may be waiting for some toxic something to happen here. She may be waiting for Johnny and then we have that devil again and and that could just be that she's a Capricorn or Johnny's a Capricorn or there's a lot of desire here but it's almost like she's she knows that something's coming. Some form of communication is is coming this way or some opportunity and she'll have that position of advantage here. There could be some chaos and conflict that comes with this. Uh, possibly a competition between two people that she will have to choose from. I kind of feel like this is, this is, no matter what the challenge is, she's going to overcome it against all odds. She has the strength and integrity to do so. Wow, that's beautiful. What's their... Uh, oh, okay. Looking at her photos. So, wanting to make new memories. So, he may know who she is. Maybe feels like he knows her. I, I feel like she's a new person, though. I could be somebody he knows from his past. Let's see what lessons are here. Okay, this one wanted to come. Be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. So he may be looking at the past, but I feel like he's just doing that healing, that introspection. I feel like he may even be just healing something here. I'm, I just feel like there's healing and, and maybe not wanting to be in the past any longer, wanting to be in that positive mindset and not look at the past. Let's see. Actions speak louder. I'm getting actions speak louder than words and I feel like he's a man of action or wants to move in towards who he has his eye on. Practice Practice, oh, compassion. See things from a fresh perspective. This is about stability. So maybe looking at stability in a different way. Being grounded and I'm, I'm kind of getting that. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I grounded, 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 grounded keeps coming up here for me. It's almost like, um, hmm. 
kind of like that. Ah, oh, jeez. It's not coming to me. Come on. Hmm. It'll come. Let's see, what other things for his person? What, what does the person learn here? What does this person learn? Let's see here. Back to when you love. Be, oh, reevaluate your desires. So this is his person and maybe is looking at what's really important here to her and what she's really looking for. She may have just settled. The union of the hearts, the love connection defies explanation. And I feel like this, once she leaves this person with the number 10 here, I feel like she, when she meets Johnny, it's just going to be unbelievable the connection the two of them end up having. Forgiveness. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. And this is number 11 with the Ascended Masters. I feel like maybe having to forgive what the past was for her in order to embrace what Johnny and her will share. Let's see here. Like attracts like. Yes, that mirroring, that twin flamish. If you long for more love, be more loving. I love it. Now I've swapped out the cards for um, action. And I want to see what these things are here that end up coming out. Okay, so going forward, yes, beautiful. So taking action, embracing, and being open with openness here. Being open to something here. Let's see, one more and I'll just pull it out. Ah, yes, having that courage. Good good on you there, Johnny. Let's see about your person. What is their action here? They may feel like they're standing still here. Nothing's moving. They are protected. Johnny could be having that protection over her. There's some success here that's going to happen. Or she's going to feel like a lot of success and needing to purify her energy. Nice. It's the combined energy. Aha, <laughs> I love it. Trust. And that may not come easy to either one of them. I'm really getting that their trusts have been broken over and over and over throughout their lifetime. And finding each other and being open to that trusting and giving something a chance here. Okay? And and maybe always looking for something with that paying attention to the red flags. I'm kind of feeling like looking for some type of flaw or something wrong where getting duped I'm feeling getting played and I feel like it's something that needs to heal and I feel like by coming together with his empress they're going to have this connection where that's not even going to be a factor so even though he may feel that right now once he meets his empress, I feel like that part of him may go away. Look at that. They're going to have such a great fortune. I feel like they may work together on a purpose here. Perhaps they're both artists or they both paint or have... Wow. They're going to have such amazing wealth here. I feel like it's going to be such a sudden wealth. And that may be what that energy that I was feeling here with the public recognition and the wealth, the wealth, the great fortune and that energy of, wow, you know, like, what am I doing here? Like, I, I'm almost feeling like, am I dreaming or in another world <laughs> by just the enormous difference in worlds for these two 
it's like stepping in and being Cinderella, you know, after being stuck with the stepsisters for so long, uh, evil stepsisters, and then putting on that glass slipper and finding her Prince Charming, you know, and it's, it is such a difference from one world to the next. And maybe that is what I was picking up on here. It's going to be like a, a, such a shock and awe. It's for anyone that has sudden wealth or sudden success. It's very shocking or unbelievable or it takes a bit to get used to or that realize it or that shock to wear down. <laughs> wow. So they're definitely going to move in together in a beautiful house. They may even <clears throat> kind of getting that may even uh, have a place that they have together that has no other memories. I feel like it might be something new. Yeah, I feel like this poverty for this, his person is going to definitely end here with the number 10. I feel like there's a little bit of a fear of what's expected here. Uh, she may not know what to expect that not knowing this world and how things are done or the way things go here and being not knowing to, what to do with self. <laughs> you know, um, <clears throat> maybe being conditioned to think a certain type of way and when it comes to being with Johnny, it's just different. Yeah, there is going to be a message that comes in from Johnny, I feel. What's the combined energy? Ah, this may even come, I'm getting um, official mail, like um, you got to sign for the mail to get the mail. I like, um, something of, of importance here, like that you would get what is that called when you get mail like that, where you have to sign for it? I'm sure somebody will put it in the comments. I know what I'm I'm looking for for that, but it's <laughs> coming out. Maybe that is what I was having such a hard time trying. To, it was it wasn't coming. It wasn't coming. It wasn't coming. It still hasn't come up, and I feel like it's that official mail that you have to sign for, and that is what wasn't coming for me. It still isn't here. It's still not coming up for me. So, but let's look at the last couple things here. Let's look at um, his person's intuition and what it might be telling this empress. Ah, that there is a blessing of abundance for her. <laughs> and what about Johnny? Ah, look at that balance. That light and dark here, that yin and the yang, the fit together and justice. This is such balance. This is doing the right thing. This is karma debts being paid to him for whatever he's gone through. He's getting Dharma back, which is good karma. Okay. <laughs> wow. That's beautiful. And let's look at the after tarot here and see what comes up for these two in their intuition, maybe their love frequency here for his empress. Look at that, the lovers. And we also had the two of cups somewhere, I thought. I was sure we had the two of cups, maybe not. But it was a twin flamish type of feeling for me. And then that runner chaser came out. So how about Johnny's um, intuition and what it might be telling him for after tarot? Yeah, he's being reborn here. Whatever was in the past for him 
is no longer. This is a rebirth of energy. This is like having, um, walking through with the flag now, and I feel like it's, well, the flag was always there, but I mean, it's, it's just the next phase uh, for that new beginning to come in, where finally, he's like, it's finally ended for her, so I can come in. You know, that feeling of, it's over, the waiting's over. <laughs> That's what it is for me. It's the waiting is over. That impatience I was feeling earlier, this is kind of telling me, um, and I'm feeling it, it's like, finally, it's like a, a weight being lifted of, yes, I finally get to move forward. I'm not in a standstill anymore. I'm not waiting any longer. I, I'm healing and I'm moving forward. I feel like I'm in the flow now. Things are just moving nicely. And wow, this is beautiful. It's so close to the meeting. If they haven't done so already, if this is somebody from his past, there's realizations here. Somebody is ending something in order for this new beginning, this new chapter for this empress to happen. I feel like she's been through a lot. She may not be very trusting. I feel like he's been through a lot. He's not very trusting. He feels like he got played from prior things and she feels like she got used or played. And I feel like these two have a lot of common, but they can't be together as a trauma bond. I feel like this has to be something that is a healing bond from what they've been through to be able to forgive and move forward into this new fa beautiful phase. I feel like even though they both have their own skeletons in their closet about what they may have been through with this trauma, Johnny's is a little known for what he went through in his childhood up until his relationship with his ex um, wife. I guess they were, yeah, they were married. So I'm kind of feeling like And this could be, yeah, something finalized. Maybe this person was married in a divorce. I'm feeling divorce, divorce. It's finally over, finally done. I feel like there's things that are moving here quite quickly. Things are going forward. I can't wait to do the next reading. I feel like there's going to be even more information of a meeting. And I feel like this is going to be this new passionate beginning, making that good judgment call. She's finally leaving her person. This is starting to move. And uh, this is so exciting. All right, you guys, <laughs> please like, share, and subscribe give me that thumbs up. I really enjoyed this reading. I hope you did too. And we will see you next time. Take care. Stay blessed. Later.